This video, I'm gonna be showing you the best blitz in Madden 24 and how to set up the coverage to stop some of the most popular route combos that you are going to face. Now, if you guys wanna get my entire 6-1 defensive ebook, we got it completely revamped and updated on our new website, school.com, or our new online community. That's where all of our offensive and defensive ebooks are going to be housed for both Madden and college football. College football comes out um, in a little bit over a month. If you guys wanna get access to the school.com page, that's gonna get you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks that we're going to be dropping for both college football and for Madden. And again, it's only $10 to become a member. So it's a great place to become a better Madden or college football player. And again, the link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description. 6-1. The reason this blitz is really, really good, especially at this point in the year, um, is due to the fact that we have super, super fast outside linebackers and super fast defense linemen. That's really what made this defense as good as it possibly could be. And so what we're going to be doing here is we're just going to put our fastest defensive linemen on this left side. So for me, I've got Bo Jackson. I think he's 99 speed on the combine theme team. I'm still rocking that uh, in, in late May. Isaiah Simmons, 99 speed on the con combine theme team. And then I'm rocking uh, the Super Bowl theme team as well still. I think it's still pretty decent. Uh, I like to put Chase Young here, and then I like to put Carl Loftus over here. So uh, these are kind of the, the standard things that I like to do out of this. And we're going to have our auto alignment to base, auto flip defense play call off, and then our zone coverage on default. So the blitz is going to be out of any play in the formation. I'm going to do it out of cover four quarters. Now, the way that you set this blitz up is you're going to blitz – uh, you're going to blitz your linebackers, you're going to QB contain, and then you're going to blitz your linebackers again, and then you're going to drop this guy on the left side into coverage, and basically you want the defense to look something like what you see here on your screen. This is really good coverage, really good play, and a really good adjustment sequence for gun bunch. It's a five-man pressure. What you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, I'm going to basically run at the center, and I'm going to try to pull him to the right side. So I like to run down, hit left trigger, and you'll see that this pressure will come in super fast off of that left side edge. Now, with double post, with the running back kind of running through the middle, if you ever have what you just saw happen to me happen to you, what I would recommend is go ahead and spread your linebackers out. It'll prevent that kind of bumping, and then you'll get a little bit of a cleaner, a uh, little bit of a cleaner edge rush off of that left-hand side. So that's a method that you can utilize to, uh, to, to kind of clean up the pressure a little bit. But in general, this five-man blitz, oftentimes you're going to get crazy fast um, edge pressure off of the left side, and you're also going to be able to adjust to when they block a running back. So in general, uh, I think this defense is best out of a sin five. I like it much better than a sin six, uh, just because you can still randomly B-gap them even if – you're not getting you know the best pressure. You can still oftentimes randomly randomly uh, get this edge pressure to come in. However, let's say that they start to run uh, block a running back. I think this is what makes six one better than dollar. Is you have a lot of solutions for blocked running backs. So you're going to blitz both linebackers here, and we're not going to contain this time. And what you'll see is we're going to get really fast gap pressure coming at the edge off the edge. Pretty good pressure to be able to attack the opponent. Now. As far as coverage behind the pressure, uh, one of the things that I want to highlight is why these two coverages are really good for Bunch specifically. So if you think about Bunch, if you think about Bunch offset, if you don't think about Bunch strong, number one, we have to have flat protection. So by putting the linebacker here on the right in a hard flat, that allows us to have pretty good uh, flat protection to be able to take away any kind of snap throw routes. The other thing that we like to do is take this safety on the left side and put him in a hook curl. The reason this hook curl is going to be effective is because what a lot of people like to do when they see pressure is they're going to kind of snap throw this drag route to the right. So you see here, this hook curl with a mid zone KO, oftentimes we'll be able to defend that for pretty minimal gain. So that's another element of this defense. And then the reason that I like to run this coverage shell, uh, which you'll see here in a second, I like to run the, the biggest thing with the yellow zones is you want to shade underneath. And then we're going to put a cover two on the right. So this is what the defense would look like. I even like sometimes to put a deep half from that. I love the deep half from that solo side this year, especially for double posts, 
because a lot of people are trying to hit this post route. This deep half will do a really good job of kind of getting, getting into that like cover three beater esque type of space. So that's another thing that I really like, um, just about the defense in general. But in, in short, you know, shading down a yellow and then having a cover two on the side where you're going to be using, you're going to practically speaking become the yellow zone or become like the super deep outside third to go take a corner route. So you're kind of watching here. Like if they run verticals, this is a really good uh, defense because what you'll see is all you got to do is run to the tight end and then they're getting screamed at as well simultaneously. So these are really good coverage shells for, uh, for, for what we see out of gun bunch for the most part at this point in the year. So again, if you're having any trouble with the pressure, I do think this works a little better in game than it is working in practice mode. All you got to do is just spread that linebacker, spread the linebackers out, and that'll kind of ensure that the pressure is going to come off of the edge a little bit better. So, you know, that's really 6 1. Uh, it's a super simple defense, but it's a super effective defense. And if you can master kind of the, the user aspect of this, it makes this defense, you know, a thousand times more effective. So, if you want to get my entire 6 1 defensive ebook, the link to that's going to be down in the description. School.com. That's where you're going to get access to all of our offensive defensive ebooks for both college football and for Madden going forward. And it's only $10 a month to be a member and it gets you access to literally everything. So, if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.